Paul Courage, you were involved in getting a resolution sent, uh, a letter to the U UCLA administration from, from where? Well, I sent a letter personally to the chancellor, but the city council also approved the resolution that I authored unanimously, which I thought was a strong message to UCLA that we thought hosting this conference was a big mistake. Now, what did they do with your letter of recommendation? Well, I know they read it and they responded both to me and uh, in the LA Times. We both uh, took our positions in letters to the Times. Ultimately, they allowed a very hateful and anti-Semitic conference to go forward here at UCLA. Uh -huh. Well, I thought they set a precedent for being able to turn down hateful speakers and those that incite violence and anti-Semitism. And then they didn't use that precedent to shut this one down. And although this was framed as an issue of free speech, if it was really free speech, we would have actually been able to at least witness it. It would have been a public meeting, would have had an opportunity for folks to comment. This was a completely hidden, behind closed door conference, and we don't know what they were doing. And that concerns me because this is a group that operates on hate. Their logo alone of terrorist kites being held by a Bruin bear not only supports actions against Israel and violent actions, but implies that UCLA supports it. Uh, at a minimum, they should have halted the use of that, which they weren't able to. And uh, really what they should have done is halt this conference. Uh -huh. Is this conference, they, they claim that they're uh, committed to uh, 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 pursuing justice in Palestine, but what kind of uh, reputation do they have on the campuses of the United States? Well, on this campus, some of their members interrupted a Jewish gathering, brought it to a halt, and the police department had to be called to stop it from turning even more violent. You mean so, a lecture or a talk on campus? I think it was uh, some sort of a conference. I don't actually know that much about the, the subject matter, but I do know they physically prevented it from going forward, coming in shouting slogans with bullhorns, preventing people from, from oh, wow. speaking. Intimidating? Oh, absolutely intimidating. I mean, if I were a UCLA student, I would feel certainly unsafe and unwelcome uh, with a group like this on campus. This, this purports to be a nonviolent discussion of the issues. But in reality, I think what's being discussed behind closed doors is, at a minimum, acts of anti-Semitism and making Jews uncomfortable to live in their own country and students to be uncomfortable on their own campuses. And that's something that just shouldn't be tolerated. But they're, they're claiming that this is about Palestine and Israel. How does it affect uh, Jews and supporters of Israel outside of Israel? Well, if, if you make it uncomfortable for them to exist and to know that their meetings might be disrupted, to have people shouting at them on megaphones as they walk by as Jewish students, I mean, those kinds of things do impact the dialogue in Israel and beyond. Um, and so I think it does have an impact. And certainly, if they did the worst and were plotting terrorist activities in the United States, that would certainly have an impact. Um, on our potential continuing support of Israel.